All right, partial quotients with remainders. This is similar to the last video on partial quotients, or sometimes um, the nickname is hangman division. However, this time it's going to show what to do with a remainder, and what is a remainder if you're not sure what that is. Okay, so in division here we have a problem, 57 divided by 5. I'm asking myself how many 5s will fit into 57 if I'm dividing it into groups of 5s, or taking out groups of 5s. Now, since I have 50, above 50, I'm going to start with 10 groups of 5 because that's going to get me pretty close to my answer. And that's the highest in the song that we learn in class. The highest um, multiple that we usually count by. So 10 times 5 is 50. That means I'm left with 7. Okay, so I'm still taking out groups of 5. I'm going to take out one group of 5. And I am left with a 2. Okay, so if I'm left with a 2, so now what do I do with this 2? If I'm taking out groups of 5, and I only have 2 left, I don't have enough for another group of 5. So this, boys and girls, is what is known as a remainder. It's what's left. It's remaining. So when I divide here, I was able to pull out 10 plus 1, 11 groups of 5 okay, to get into 57 but I have two left over. So my answer starts with my 11 groups that I was able to take out, and then I'm going to write an R here, R standing for remainder, and then a 2 after it. 11 remainder 2, or 11 R2, it looks like that, <laughs> but we say it 11 R2, um, or that's not how we say it, we say it 11 remainder 2, um, but it kind of sounds like a funny Star Wars name, doesn't it? R2-D2, 11-R2. There you go, that's your next droid name. Okay, so let's try that again with the uh, or with another example here. 41 divided by 7. Okay, now if I know my multiplication facts, I know that 7 times 6 is 42. And that's just a little bit too much, isn't it? So, instead of 6 groups... Right, so instead of six groups of seven, I am going to back down by one group of seven and go to five. Seven times five is thirty-five. All right, forty-one minus thirty-five. If I start at thirty-five and count up to forty-one, thirty-five to forty plus five plus one would be six. So I have six left over between forty-one and thirty-five. Now here I have another remainder because I cannot take another group of 7 out. 7 is what I am counting by. 7 is what I'm taking out, groups of 7. 6 is not going to work. So my answer here is going to be 5 groups, remainder 6. All right, let's try another one. 25 divided by 6. If I'm counting by 6s with the songs we've learned in class, 6, 12, 18, 24. 24 is the closest I'm going to be able to get without going over. And that is four groups of six. 24. I'm left with one. Do you remember what it's called when I'm left with one right here? These are my remainders. So my answer is four, remainder one. Now, you can put the answers right here, that's okay, or you can put the answers at the top here. Um, most time people put, put uh, most time people do end up putting their answers at the top here. All right, let's try it a little harder. What about with bigger numbers? 114 divided by seven. So um, in class again, we usually count up to, to 10. Uh, 10 groups of seven is 70. All right, if I'm gonna subtract that, let's start from 70, count up. 70 to 100 is 30, all right, and then another jump of 14, so 30 plus 14 is 44, all right, that's how much is left after I subtract, or if I count up, okay, so 7 times 6 is 42, again, I'm thinking about big chunks of these numbers to get these um, quickly divided and quickly subtracted down, and I'm left with... Two. So my answer, 
I was able to pull out 16 whole groups of 7 from 114, but I am left with a remainder of 2. All right, those are some examples on partial quotients and with remainders. Good luck on your assignments.